My lord. All the reports are on the table. And the rest? Besides the pleadings from major officials, the rest are nothing but threats from the Marquises and the Eastern States. Is old Ganlong dead yet? He's almost dead, my lord. <laughs> hmm. My lord, these correspondences and reports, how do we deal with them? I want them sealed up. Without my written order, nobody can unseal them. Yes. Then, for the finalized verdict, does my lord want to reply? Both sides are at odds. There's no consensus yet. How can I reply to them? How wise, my lord. It's better to drag on, if possible. Drag on? I'll write a decree. Yes, my lord. Wait. Make it a secret verbal order. My lord, please speak your order. <laughs> this verbal order won't be recorded and won't go down in history. Understood, my lord. Send the oldest palace attendant you can find to pass this to Ganlong. The verdict of Shangyang shall be decided by the Office of Grand Preceptor and the legal department. My lord, the Office of Grand Preceptor has never interfered with state affairs or issues concerning the law. Let him interfere for once, and the law as well. Can't he do that? Uh, Just tell him that. Relay the order. Yes, my lord. Messenger. Yes? Quick, prepare a carriage. Right! Lord Shang's prison cell. My lord, please come with me. This way, please. Is this the best cell in the national prison? Well, a prison cell is never good. But this cell is the most airy one. Who is here to visit me? How come I can't tell who is there? If it's General Ying Chan. <laughs> if it's Master Chan, we can drink to our heart's content. If... If... There are many new talents in Qin right now. Lord Shang, it's me, Yin Su. Lord Shang, please forgive me. After seeing your majesty, I have no regrets. <laughs> Please rise. 
If my lord only cares about the well-being of one person, then I would be quite upset, to be honest. <laughs> lord Shang, you truly are magnanimous. I'm so embarrassed with myself. Since it's come to this, we can't turn back anymore. Would you spare your knowledge if I ask for political advice? If I'm not confident with your majesty, I wouldn't have volunteered to be imprisoned. And if your majesty is not confident with me at all, you wouldn't have escalated the conflict. You and I are in full understanding of one another. <laughs> Some small grudges are insignificant. Come. Come. <laughs> My first question is, after you pass away, where will the aristocratic families revolt to? This is where the base of the Ganlong and Menchi and Bai clans are. They would enlist external help if they didn't have enough force. There's one external help available. And that is Yi Chu. Yi Chu? The Yi Chu clan. I hardly know anything about them. I'm not familiar. Your Majesty only needs to give this map to Ying Chan and Che Ying and remind them to destroy them completely. Your Majesty is resolute and steady. Duke Shao can rest in peace now. <laughs> Duke Shao can rest in peace now! <laughs> uh. My second question is, after you pass away, who can be the generals for Jin? After taking back He Chi, I've started to make a long-term plan. Ying Chan, Jing Jian, and Che Ying are very exhausted already. After taking care of the nobles' revolt, I'm certain they'll be completely worn out. They won't be able to help you conquer the East. I've been looking for new talents. For the non-military aspect, I recommend the official of Shang Yu, Chu Zili. He's composed, meticulous, and very well versed in military tactics. He'll be senior grandmaster and can lead the administration. Also, General of Hangu Pass, Sima Kuo, has the mind of a great general. He'll start as an officer and then commander in chief. As for the Grand Chancellor of Qin State, I have no one to recommend to you. Your Majesty may look across the border and choose carefully. My third question is, after you pass away, how, how should I treat Uncle Ying Chen? Hearing this question from you makes me feel very relieved. <sighs> He's been very kind to me, but we must separate private matters. Your Majesty is wise. Chin is lucky to have you. Ying Chan can see the big picture, but he is not forgiving. Listen, with him you must not hurt his feelings. Promote him and let him take part in policy making, but he cannot possess real power.
you know his temperament oh, better than I do. I know Ying Chan well. Ying Chan knows me well. We understand each other. <laughs> but we set on different paths. <sighs> oh, and one more thing. Let his children play major roles. If you heighten their positions, it will ensure that Ying Chan won't be a problem to you or Qin. This plan of yours protects our relationship and the state. I truly respect that. The plan will only work if he's understanding. If you follow a certain routine, then the state will be doomed. I shall always remember your great and wise teaching. I'm very glad that your majesty has such a keen sense. Lord Shang, is there anything I can take care of after your death? <laughs> I have nothing to take care of, dead or alive. Lord Shang, I also came here to tell you something important. The discussion among the nobles proposes to give you the harshest punishment. The harshest punishment. Good. If I get the harshest punishment, it will emphasize the malevolence of the nobles. And the Eastern States, too. <laughs> In the future, you can use it as an excuse to kill off the resurgence and venture out to the East. If my death can benefit the state of Chin, I have no regrets. Lord Shang, with this, I bid you a fond farewell. Your visit today marks the end of everything. Transfer Lord Shang to your office at the hilltop immediately. Remove his shackles and feed him some meat. 
put him somewhere where he can see the mountains and rivers and let him bathe in the sun. If you fail to do so, you will be punished harshly. My lord is wise. I will do it right away. Shengyang. Has some backbone. I respect that. Uncle Chen, I, uh... My lord, two Mohist masters wish to meet you. Mohist masters? Who are they? The old duchess Xuan Qi and the new Juzi Xiang Li Qin. Oh? You have to go see them. Mm. I'd better go. Old Duchess, Chuchi, I welcome you both. Greetings to you, my lord. I was Ying Chuliang's wife, but I'm now Qin's old Duchess. My lord, you can be casual. You're open-minded. I admire that. This way, please. I was told Master Shangli has taken over as Juchi. With that, I congratulate you. I'm here today to realize the previous Jitsu's last wish. I hope my lord will help us. Please let me know what I can do to help. I promise I will try my best. Shen Qi, please present it. Mm. Once Ying Tzu is Duke, if he won't keep Lord Shang, let him retire to the Mohist headquarters. Let him be instrumental to the world and the Mohists. This is the best solution. I have overstretched myself. I will die early, definitely before Lord Shang dies. His reforms have antagonized the noble families. He might be a great man, but he will be persecuted by Qin's nobles. If Ying Tzu caves in, he has to make sure Shang Yang gets to retire, even if he can't appoint Shang Yang in his court. He must not be killed or humiliated, otherwise there will be retribution. The late Duke has a deep longing. I hope you could feel his eagerness. He left an order. Jutsi is pleading. Please be decisive about this, and don't hesitate. Chief of Staff, bring out all documentation concerning Lord Shang. Yes, my lord. Mois Masters, since the dawn of time, the complaints of the last administration will be unleashed in the new administration. If the new duke can take control, then the state will continue to grow. Otherwise, it will face destruction. Fathers and Lord Shang's reforms, 
have made Shin the most powerful among the six states. This is a great achievement. It is not something uh, <laughs> that I alone can negate. However, for over 20 years, the people have regrouped themselves. The state is restructured. Interests have been redistributed. The power distribution is reorganized. These reshufflings will definitely invoke grievances accumulated over time. In Chin State, slaves become commoners. The nobles lost their fiefdoms. Their habits were forced to change overnight, and everybody needs to work his way up. Is this a bad thing? Of course it's good. But the nobles whose fiefdoms have been taken away, their members who have been convicted and demoted, the slackers who hang on to grudges and indulge in private wars of their own making, the dwellers, and hunters in the mountain who miss the old times and choose to live in the wild, the whistleblowers who don't dare to take in their clansmen, they, um... They're also the people of Chin. Look at these statements from the people. Each scroll is pressing to give Lord Shang the harshest punishment. Some of them are from the six eastern states, some are from Chin's noble families, and some are from the commoners. The truth is, if their grudges are not released, the new law of Chin will never take root on solid ground. Even if there are grudges, the reforms of Chin are not threatened. Chin is now powerful and stable. How can they be a threat? <sighs> the reforms faced out the things that pull us back. The grudges are built up in the shadow over time. The previous duke passed away in his prime. To the state of Chin, it means that the suppressed grudges in the hearts of the Chin people are unleashed. In between the old and the new era, all of their grudges will begin to surface, and then it will overflow, and then it will be set loose. Lord Shang sought to be punished harshly, because he knew this better than anyone else in the entire state. <sighs> to be honest with you, it's not that I'm not capable of saving Lord Shang's life. However, if I do save him, how would I save the state and the rule of Chen's law? No, his masters. You have to... You have to understand me. What his majesty is saying is, if you don't kill him, you can't protect the law? He is magnanimous. He's truly the only one who sees it all. Did you visit Lord Zhang? Um. <laughs> First quarter of nine in the morning. Authorized senior officials may now enter. Receptor. Greetings to Master Chen. Officials, please be seated now. Bring forth the criminal. Bring forth the unfilial Shang Yang to the execution ground. Long 
Long live Lord Shang! Long live Chin's Law! 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 Sabotaging this is a violation of etiquette. Duji, get somebody to chase them out. General Smung, Chi, Bai, is this how you guard this ground? Didn't you say no one would make a fuss here? Chase them out now! Let's chase them out. Yes. It Let's was your proposal to allow them to view this to serve as a warning. What's wrong? Are you scared of them? They're just commoners. Ignore them. Gentlemen, please be seated. Bring the felon to the platform! Announce the decree of the Duke. The decree of the Duke. The court has discussed the punishment for Shang Yang. The unfilial Shang Yang gathered people to revolt, deceived his lordship, murdered aristocracies, and committed other crimes against the state. To uphold the law, to avenge the people, the court has made a decision. Shang Yang will be sentenced to dismemberment. Shang Yang, there is no escaping justice. Do you have anything to say? Old Gan Long, I may die, but my soul will still live on. And you. Might be alive, but you've died. That's all I have to say. Hmm. To anybody! Who wants to pray for Shang Yang? You may enter. The people of Shamyu 
We'll pray for Lord Shang! <laughs> Lord Shang! Lord Shang! Lord Shang! I know you will surpass death! Your soul will never die! Your spirit will protect the people! Lord Shang, Lord Shang, you will be a god! Your name will be timeless! You will be remembered forever! <laughs> <laughs> Heavens above! I cry for Lord Shang, a timeless official. Your benevolence and your genius built the rule of law. You made the state powerful. You took back Hoshi, and in doing so, you avenged our humiliation! The innocence of Lord Shang is proof the world is an abyss! All beings are aggrieved. The universe shares in the sorrow. Miss Yuan Chi. Che Ying. Shen Xi. Ying Yu, the ways of heaven and men are back to balance again. Painter boy, I have been waiting for you. Come. You and I can finally be together. I've made arrangements. We can be free now. No more separation. <sighs> Heaven is so gracious. It lets us rest together. 
Having lived this life, I have no more regrets. Let's drink together, my love. Twenty-four years ago, when you and I first met, this wine was brewed. Twenty-four years ago. Good. Let's call it Snow Wine of Three Lives. All right. We'll meet for three lives. Cheers, painter boy. My love, I will be leaving first.
世界，悬崖不那么的失望，悬崖不。悬崖不那么的失望，悬崖不。